oh wow if i had to pick five films yeah i mean you could there are some essentials if you were if somebody had access to every single film they could um are there five films that you think help sort of reveal the history the quote unquote history of moroccan cinema that you think are really real give um give people an insight maybe they don't mm. they don't give a full tour but they show the doors through which somebody can sort of go through um oh wow if i had to pick five films yeah i mean you could there are some essentials um i mean bornani's own mirage um uh, the mirage is, is one it's from the late 70s the first the, the the film that's considered to be the first um kind of independent a uh, film of value in Morocco is from 1970 it's called Wishma uh which which means the tattoo or the you know the body mark uh it's by Hamid Benani and and Benani participated as as a um, film editor of that film and it was made by this collective of people so i would say Wishma i would say the mirage i would say um Moumen Smihi's um El Shergi or or violent silence which was made in Tangier in 75 so it's the first moroccan feature film made in Tangier and then i don't know like like i could stay in that generation but i mean i guess if you wanted to go a little closer to today you know you could add maybe something by Leila Kilani who is an amazing filmmaker also from Tangier actually um i mean it's hard to choose but she has this incredible documentary film on on so called illegal migration from Tangier called the the, the 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 dream of the burners from 2001 or 2 or she has her incredible feature film called sur la planche i don't know what it's called in but it's about these group of young women who work in a in a shrimp factory in Tangier and it's very visceral and incredible um uh, and i don't know i would check out the work of Fauzi Ben Saidi who's an amazing Uh, filmmaker his film a thousand months mil mois al shahr from around the year 2000 um which was his first feature film looks at the the years of lead that i spoke about but from the point of view of a child so there's this child in a small town and his father is not is absent he left and he didn't never came back and we understand that he was uh, probably abducted by the authorities put in jail because of his political activism but so it's like this portrait of absence due to political violence but from the point of view of a child who doesn't actually know the events it's very beautiful 